Hey guys, so um, this chassis uh, is something I want to talk about today. I've been working on this over Christmas period, and um, I know I haven't uploaded a video about two weeks. It's just because I've been kind of taking a little break for Christmas because these videos, um, they do take a bit of time, and I kind of just wanted to spend that time with my family, um, and it's been really nice, but I've had enough of them now. So um, I'm basically going to talk to you for a little bit about my favorite thing, positive caster. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's not my favorite thing. Now, um, what do I mean by caster angle? You guys might be asking. Uh, so caster angle is generally just, I mean, if you kind of take a line um, that goes between two ball joints that you typically find in a Lego double wishbone setup and you, you draw a line through it, the angle of that line from the vertical, which would be kind of like something like that, um, that's the caster angle. And the um, reason why we want that is because, I mean, when the car, for instance, when the car steers, goes like this. If you take, if you take, for example, let's kind of hold it in position. Uh, if you take that line that it, that, it, that it turns around and you imagine, well, where's the point that the wheel meets the ground? It's going to be kind of below it somewhere. So it's going to be underneath that line somewhere. And it's going to be off of that axis. It's not going to be on that axis. And so it means that when a force is applied to that point of the wheel, such as when the car turns around a corner um, and there's that kind of sideways force due to friction, um, it's uh, basically it's going to apply a torque to that um, to that axis on that axis on that wheel. And it's going to encourage the wheel to kind of center again. And when it's center, that force kind of goes away because there's no longer any sideways component. So yeah, that's um, that's one of the reasons why you guys might want to consider putting this in a vehicle that you guys are designing in Lego. And another interesting thing to note here is that your wishbone pieces don't necessarily need to be angled back like this. Um, they could just be horizontal and then they're kind of offset so one is in front of the other. So the, the one below might be a little further forward. Um, but what you won't get is you won't get this kind of movement where as the suspension compresses, the um, the wheel hub moves back a little bit. So there's a horizontal component of movement. It's moving up at an angle. And the reason why that's useful is because it's a little bit more responsive to the road when there's obstacles and things and you're moving at high speed. And what I have in mind for this model one day is if I get some buggy motors, I'd like to um, kind of maybe retrofit them in I have to redesign the entire center portion and definitely the rear axle already needs work but the kind of concept of having a, st a buggy style car with um, this kind of um, positive caster is really the basis of what I'm working with here and yeah I think it would be really cool to do that to get some powerful motors and see how, far, see how fast I can drive this thing 